What's going on everybody, Original151 here, and welcome to episode 5 of my Pokemon Blue version, Randomizer LP! In today's episode, we will be going through Mount Moon and making our way to Cerulean City. But before we do that, I was doing some off-screen shenanigans, and I ran into a wild Jolteon, and I want to catch this thing, plain and simple. Uh, in our Fire Red LP, before it got deleted, we had a Jolteon, and we nicknamed our Jolteon Kanye West. And I think, you know what? I thought it would only be the proper respect to catch this Jolteon and nickname it Kanye. Do not die. Don't kill it. I'll think. No! Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Wanda, really? Really, Wanda? Oh my god. I highly doubt we're going to run into that again. Oh, Wanda! Wanda, why? What a way to open up the episode. <laughs> Wanda, you bitch. Oh my god, talk about not at the right time. Alright, I guess I'll look for a little bit to see if we can find that jo Okay, there she is. There he is. There it is. There's no gender. Uh, damn. Okay. Do not hit four times again. Now we're gonna miss. And this thing's already equipped with Thundershock, which is going to be beautiful. Uh, damn, I can't believe we killed that thing right off the bat. Can we, can we land a hit, please? Thank you. Do not kill this thing. Do not. Please do not. Stop. Stop. Thank you. That is perfect. Alright, damn. <laughs> Tensions run high in episode 5. Let's just catch this thing already. Uh, hopefully it will just get in the ball and cooperate. First try. It's never that easy, is it? It's never that easy. Alright, so this thing's gonna go for a sand attack. Let's use a sing. And let's put this thing to bed. Let's let's put this puppy to bed. What do you mean it didn't affect Jolteon? Go to speed up till you fall asleep. Thank you. Okay, Jolteon's asleep. I got no time for games today. I wanna catch these Pokemon and I wanna make my ass make my ass make my way <laughs> to Cerulean City. Alright. Now it should stay in the ball. Please stay in the ball. Wow, that did nothing. All right. Is this really gonna... You woke up already? Go to bed. Mmm. Mmm. This Jolteon. This Jolteon is being a son of a bitch. Come on, Kanye. Because we already know that's what we're gonna name you. Really? Stay asleep. Stay asleep. Okay. Stay asleep. Stay asleep. I got three balls left. Stay in the damn ball. Stay in the ball. Oh my god, we have... Uh, I, if I hit it again, it's gonna die! I guess I could weaken it down with Stan. Let's try that. Let's switch out to Stan. Don't wake up. And he wakes up. Let's try a tackle. Hopefully we don't kill. Don't kill it. You know what? I don't care anymore. I don't care anymore. I don't even want to catch the Jolteon. I changed my mind. So we just wasted about three minutes of this episode trying to catch a Jolteon that will not stay in the damn ball. Excuse me. All right. So let's heal up really quick. And let's just make our way to Mount Moon already. Now, I wanted to catch something in Mount Moon. Uh, what do we have? We have two Pokeballs. That'll do. That'll do. Uh, right now, just a team update. We have Wanda at level 14, Frank at level 11, Kakarot at level 15, Robbie at level 8, and Stan at level 12. For those of you that don't know, Robbie is our Albanite that we catch, that we caught in the last episode. I'm still debating whether this bad boy is going to be a permanent team member or not. We will soon find out. But look at that special. Uh, very low speed, though. Very low speed indeed. But anyway, let's finally, let's finally make our way into Mount Moon. And let's make our way to Cerulean City. All right. So there's going to be a ton of items in here, which is awesome. And they're all randomized. So let's see if we can get some kick-ass TMs. TM11, and that's going to be a randomized TM. So let's see what we got here. Let's boot that up. Body slam! Hell yeah, I'm teaching that to somebody. Uh, let's teach that to Kakarot. Uh, you know what? Let's teach that to Frank. Ah, uh, does Frank learn that if I level up later on? I feel like it will. But right off the bat to have now will not be- Oh, then again, Wanda could really use that. Yeah, let's give body slam to Wanda. Okay, let's delete- What are we gonna delete? Uh, let's delete- uh, Do I wanna get- Yeah, let's just get rid of double slap. Double slap annoys me. We want body slam. That I hope I made the right move there. <laughs> All right, so let's make our way up here. I believe there's another item. Okay, cool. Let's grab that. 
Found a nugget! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Alright, let's talk to this guy. Suspicious men are in the cave! What about you? Alright, so I didn't think this guy was a trainer, but it turns out that he is indeed a trainer, so let's take him on. Okay, Ace Trainer wants to fight. He's gonna send out... What a shocker, a Caterpie. And let's taste it. Let's taste out. Let's test out that Body Slam. And hopefully we can get some one-hit KOs up in here. And beautiful... Oh, Wanda putting in the finest of work. Next up is a another Caterpie. Alright. I'll take it. Body Slam again. And Body Slam has a lot more PP than Double Slap did, which is good. Ha! <laughs> PP. Giggity. Alright, Wanda grows to level 15. That is nice. Wanda is just... Wanda's stacked right now. I gotta train up the other team members. Alright, so we took down that guy. Let's make our way over here. Battle this girl. Uh, let's switch the team up a bit. Let's put Frank in the... Fr Actually... Yeah, you know, let's train up Frank a bit. Let's do that. Let's battle her. What? I'm waiting for my friends to find me here. Why? Why are you waiting for your friends all alone in a cave? To me, it just does not make sense. That's a little bit dangerous, lady. And the lady's gonna send out a gold dean. All right, we're gonna send out Frank the Tank. Frank the Tank, put in the finest of work. Kill this gold dean, please. Kill this gold dean, please. And Rap is gonna miss, son of a bitch. Come on, come on, Frank. And that did a lot of damage, holy shit. Okay, we're gonna switch out. I don't know, I feel like playing this game right now. Let's go over to Kakarot. And Peck's gonna do nothing. Let's use a scratch. Damn, what is this, Goldina? God, why can't we hit it? Finally. All right, and the, for some reason, this Goldeen has, like, very good defenses. And it's giving us some trouble, which is aggravating me. Uh, Vice Grip is a normal attack. For some reason, I thought Vice Grip might be... I'm not even gonna say what I thought. Very stupid. I'm gonna say it anyway. I thought Vice Grip might be a Grass-type move. Don't know why. Uh, for some reason, I just thought that... But Kakarot and Frank are going to get some experience, which is marvelous. And let's make our way... All right, so our first wild encounter in Mount Moon. Whoa, Kangaskhan. That is awesome, but I do already have a normal type, and that is Wanda. And we will be keeping Wanda. But that would have been an awesome catch. That would have been an awesome catch. Look at this, we run into our starter Pokemon, Kabuto! Well, we already have a Kabuto, so let's run away. Now, I want to make sure I get all the items in here, so let... Alright, trainer battle, let's do it. What?! Don't sneak up on me! Bro, I did not sneak up on you, I simply walked south. You came in the path, and you wanted to battle. Strong man, you do not look like a strong man. You look like one of those pokey maniacs, and he's gonna send out a star to you. We're gonna send out Frank. Now, Frank, I probably should have taught Frank Body Slam. Because Rap is very weak. Although it is broken and most of the time it will get the job done, it takes a very long time and it's quite frustrating if you ask me. And Staryu gets a wrap off. Alright, let's switch out. Let's go over to Wanda. Did I say Staryu gets a wrap off? I meant to say Staryu gets a tackle off. <laughs> I was like thinking about it. I'm like, I think I did just say the wrong thing. But we get a crit with Body Slam, and Wanda's gonna get some experience. Frank's gonna get to level 12. That is great. And next up is a seal. I'm gonna stay in. Now that's pretty random. You rarely see a seal in caves. Very rarely. Can this be a one-hit KO? I don't know. Seal. It's a crit! Alright, we're getting a lot of crits with Body Slam. I was gonna say, I don't know, because Seal is very fat. Seal looks like that she has, or he has, some decent defenses. Here we have another item. I love finding random items. Found a great ball, thank god, because Pokeballs are not cutting it with these wild encounters lately. Another item, okay. Antidote, that'll come in handy. Uh, another item, I'll take it. Super Repel, very nice. Here we have another trainer, uh, let's, th you know what, I don't, we gotta like make sure we don't, uh, die in here. So I'm gonna put Wanda to the front, I know she's at level 15, I know she's putting the team on her back, but let's let her have one more fight. Go through this cave to get Cerulean City! I know that. I know that. That's why, that's what I said at the beginning of the episode. We're gonna go through Mount Moon to get to Cerulean City. Alright, Ace Trainer. And right, he's gonna send out a Weedle. We can take care of that. One... One-shot KO City with Body Slam. It's... Wanda's an absolute tank right now. Yeah, in the last episode, I accidentally called Wanda Bulma. I'm getting my LPs mixed up. In our Pokemon Emerald LP, we have an Aeron named Bulma. 
And apparently I thought that Wanda was Bulma. I don't know why, but I did. Anyway, Wanda's gonna get to level 16. Look at that HP stat. Uh, next up is a Caterpie. I'm gonna switch out and go over to Kakarot. Let's let Kakarot get some levels here. Okay, and let's use a Scratch. Hopefully we'll get a crit and one-shot this thing. Nope, it's gonna be a two-hit KO. Which is okay. Uh, let's use another Scratch. And down goes the Caterpie. Caterpie's voice in the anime is like the funniest thing ever. He's like, and that is my Caterpie impression. Uh, <laughs> let's put uh, let's put Stan in the front. Up. Oh, what am I doing? Let's put Stan in the front because he is only at level twelve. We have to train that bad boy up. Uh, let's make our way up here. Wild encounter. What are we gonna find? What are we gonna find? What? All right. Uh. Oh my God. Okay. Okay, I, I gotta, it's, listen, we're playing Pokemon Blue. I want a freaking Blastoise on my team. How am I gonna catch this thing? How many, all right, I have, oh my god, I have two Pokeballs and I have one Great Ball. All right, I, got, I gotta catch this thing, I have to. All right, let's go, let's go to Kakarot to put some damage on this thing. And Kakarot should be able to take hits from this thing pretty well. All right, so Blastoise is going to go for the Tail Whip. All right. Wow. Uh, let's use a Scratch. That does a lot of damage. Okay. Um, all right. I'm going to use one more Scratch and pray to the Lord Almighty we don't get a crit. And we got a crit, but it lived. All right. That's good. Now I'm going to send in Wanda. I'm going to put this thing to sleep. And then I'm going to throw the Pokeballs first. I don't know what Blastoise's catch rate is. Okay. Alright, I'm, I'm getting real nervous here. Come on. I know it will affect Blastoise. Just work. Come on. Come on. Ugh. Having a Blastoise in a Pokemon Blue LP randomizer would be clutch. Come on! Let's speed through this till he falls asleep. Thank you. Okay. Blastoise is asleep. I'm gonna get real close to the mic to add dramatic effect. What?! What?! Why did it wake up already? Alright, speed through. Okay, stay asleep, Blastoise, please. Okay. What the hell is go Stay asleep! Okay. Please stay asleep? There we go. That was really weird. Alright, uh... Let's just go for the Great Ball. Let's just go for the Great Ball. Please get in the Great Ball, please! Yes! Yes! Oh my god! Woo! Alright, so we catch the Blastoise. Holy shit, that is awesome. Blastoise the Shellfish Pokemon, a brutal Pokemon with pressurized water jets on its shell. They are used for high-speed tackles. And we are going to nickname this Blastoise. Wow, that is awesome. Uh, we're gonna nickname you... What are we gonna nickname you? Ah! Uh, let me try one thing here. Uh, you know what? Let's nickname you the house. Let's just nickname you house, because Blastoise is a freaking house. See the size of this thing? House, all right. So we caught house the Blastoise. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Real quick, I'm gonna make my way back to the Pokemon Center, and I'm gonna grab house, and he's gonna be on our team. And we're running into more Kabutos, and I can't believe we just caught a Blastoise. I really can't. Rapidash. All right, that is cool. This thing is really fast. Okay, we escaped. All right, so I'm going to come back in the Pokemon Center right now. Let's just, let's reevaluate the team right now. Let, let's reevaluate. Okay. There's no way I'm keeping House, Robbie, and Kakarot. I'm definitely keeping Kakarot. He's our starter. And I really, really want a House. Oh my god, look at that. Look at House. Look at those stats already at level 8. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna need to keep House. So we're gonna deposit Robbie. I know we were really excited about Robbie. But we have a freaking Blastoise. And I want a Blastoise. And let's also deposit... One, two, three... One, two, three, four, five. I have five team members already. 
Oh, I don't want five team members this early on. All right, I'm going to keep the team like this for now. If we run into something else, I will debate changing the team. Uh, so far, guys, the permanent team members, without a doubt, are Frank, Kakarot, Wanda, and House. I'm debating on getting rid of Stan. I know I was really excited to have Stan. I want a Weezing. We'll, uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. You know, the, the ra let me heal up before I go back in there. You know, the randomizer is good, but it puts so much pressure on me to pick this these ridiculous teams. But, uh... Yeah, we got House now. Let's put House in front. Oh, my God. But then another question comes to mind. It's like, do you really want to have Kakarot, who's rock and ground, and then House, who's just water... I mean, rock and water is what I meant to say. Kakarot's rock and water... And you have Blastoise, and he's water, so it's like two water... T I don't know. I'll, I'll figure it out. For now, I'm just going to keep my options open. And we run to, into a ton of Slowpokes in this LP, which is pretty bizarre. But, oh, look at that Sprite. Kick ass. All right. Let's just make our way through this cave already. <laughs> These wild encounters, man. Let me move my mic closer to me. Ah, uh, there we go. All right. Wow. Okay. Uh... Let me, let me, well, I am like, I'm freaking out right now from all these wild encounters. And another Kabuto. Another Kabuto. Kabuto's defenses are just ridiculous. I can't wait till it evolves into a Kabutops. Let's come down here. I'm pretty sure this is where you get some items and whatnot. And I think you can get a TM down here as well. Let's do that. I'm like scared to run into something amazing because, oh, Farfetch'd. How you doing, buddy? All right. And we actually do need a flying type at some point, uh, so we can use fly. The wild encounter, all right! Vileplume, and that is a frightening cry right there! No interest in catching a Vileplume, no interest at all, at all. All right, uh, wow, okay, so wild encounters galore right now. Haunter, all right, if that was a Gengar, no doubt I would catch it. But, Haunter, I can't evolve it, so I'm just going to run away. I'm just going to run away. And there we have a Team Rocket Grunt. Let's battle this guy. We, Team Rocket, are Pokemon Gangsters! Yo, yo, bring it on, bruh. Bring it on. All right, here we have the Artist wants to fight. He's going to send out a Clefairy. We're going to send out House, our Blastoise. And let's see if House can handle his own here. Let's use a Water Gun, see how much damage that does. It's a crit, and it's a good amount of damage. Clefairy's gonna go for the Growl, but House is not gonna let up, and House is gonna go for another Water Gun. Okay, Pound. House has good defenses. That shouldn't do that much. Yeah, House is... House is gonna put in some work in this LP. Okay, Clefairy's gonna use Pound. And one more Water Gun. Will it kill? Will it kill? It won't. We need to use one more. Okay. And you know what? Now I'm having second thoughts again. Maybe I will not keep House permanently on the team. I don't know. We will see. Let me know in the comments below who you think uh, should be the permanent team members right now. I want you guys to pick four. Four of the five right now. Who should the four permanent team members be? And I'll give one rule. Kakarot has got to be one of them because he is our starter. And I will not abandon our starter. So let me know. I'm curious. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do. I will take your opinions into consideration. Uh, let's train up Frank. I want Frank to get a next TM we find if Frank can learn it. I got to teach it to Frank. If it makes sense. You know, because, you know, Frank just, he needs a better move than Rap. Because he could be putting in some work right now. But for now, we'll, we'll settle with Rap. We will settle with Rap indeed. And Frank's attack will continue. Okay, can we kill this Zubat, please? Yes, we can. One more rap should do it. And down goes the Zubat, and that should give somewhat decent experience. Next up is a Diglett. Gonna switch out. Gonna go over to ha- uh... Let's go over to house. Whoa! Voice Crack City! Welcome, I'm Vinny the Mayor. That's like my new slogan whenever my, uh... Whenever my voice cracks. Let's use a water gun. And hopefully we can two-shot this thing. Maybe we'll one-shot it. We'll see what happens. Almost a one-shot! Very nice. And Water Gun has a ton of PP. Ha! <laughs> giggity! Giggity, 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 goo! And down goes the Diglett. Very nice. And House is gonna get to level 10. Very nice. Very nice indeed. 
Okay. A <laughs> level 10 Blastoise, that is hilarious. You should still be a Squirtle. Uh, this is a TM, I think. A Firestone. So we could have caught that Eevee and had a Flareon. But, why, wait, why have we found two Firestones? Seems a bit odd to me. Uh, let me speed through this little tunnel section. Okay, now, uh, Wild Battle, all right. Another... This is not Mount Moon, this is Kabuto Town. <laughs> that made no sense, but yeah, a lot of Kabutos in here. All right, let's make our way up here. We have a trainer, let's fight her. Okay. Wow, it's way bigger in here than I thought. Yeah, and it's full of freaking Kabuto. Isn't it, miss? Another lady, I'm guessing? Lady, all right, she's gonna send out a Charmander. Okay. Charmander level 11 versus a level 10 Blastoise. Who shall be the victor? And almost a one-hit KO. Charmander's gonna use Growl. No need to fear there. Let's use another water gun and down goes the Charmander. Yeah, so I don't know. Maybe I'll get rid of... I don't know. I don't know. I, I really want to have a diverse team here. But House is putting in work right now. Next up is a Bell Sprout. Gonna switch out. Let's go over to Stan. Let's let Stan get some action. Let's let Stan get some action. Gonna move up a little bit because I'm pretty far from my microphone. Let me move that closer again. That should be good. All right. Stan needs some better moves. I'm t I want to use Stan, but you know. Whoa, Vine Whip is a powerful animation. Let me speed through this battle. I, I just want Stan to get this experience already. Come on, Stan, land a hit. One more tackle should do the job. Two more tackles, I stand corrected. And down goes the Bell Sprout. I want to look up Stan's move pool at the end of this episode because I really need him to learn some better moves. I really do. Uh, any items over here? No. And Wild Battle, what are we going to run into? What are we going to run into? Another Kangaskhan. And look at that sprite. So crooked. So beautiful indeed. Uh, let's run away. Let us run away. All right. Dun, 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 dun. Let's, uh, let's put... Let's put, uh, let's put Kakarot in front. Let's train up Kakarot a bit. Let's come down this ladder, grab a couple items. What do we got here? Another Vile Plume. Okay, no interest in catching a Vile Plume, and this thing's only at level 7. We are beyond you, Vile Plume. We are beyond you. All right, so this is a TM. Yes, okay, come on. Give me something, please give me something good for Frank. Please. Please. Vine Whip. What? Why can Blastoise learn Vine Whip? That is really weird. Uh, I'm not going to teach Vine Whip to anybody. I think that's a waste of a move. Uh, I don't have any grass types right now. We're pulling a big job here. Get lost, kid. We're pulling a big job here. Get lost, kid. We're pulling a big job here. Get lost, kid. All right, please only have one Pokemon. He's got two. All right. A lot of people have Jigglypuff in this randomizer. We're going to send out Kakarot, and we're going to use Scratch. And two hit KO? Three hit KO. All right. No. All right, speed up button. Don't fail me now. Wake up, Kakarot. Wake up, Kakarot, and use a Scratch. And let's kill this Jigglypuff. All right. That's enough of the speed button. Another Jigglypuff! What a freaking surprise! It actually is a surprise. Everything's randomized. Three hit KO again! Okay, unless we get a crit! No crit. I hate being put to sleep so much. I really do. And I am out of water! Oh, this is so sad. I need more water. I need a refill! Damn it, if you people in this house can hear me! I'm just kidding. I'm not really that demanding in real life. But anyway, down goes the artist. So apparently all the Team Rocket Grunts are artists. Hey, we found a water stone. Uh, is that a wall? Yeah. All right, that looked like you could walk on it for a second. But it's just a wall. Another haunter. Why can't we have a freaking Gengar? No, the problem with this randomizer is that I'm going to want to catch everything. <laughs> it's going to be so hard for me to freaking pick a set team, you know? Story, that's a new encounter in here. Okay, so let's run. And I really need to train up the team. I gotta do some off-screen grinding before we take on Misty. Because I really want to make sure that we'll be able to take her down with ease. And wild battle. A Caterpie! Bruh. Bruh. 
Bruh. I don't want a Caterpie. I really don't. Let's just kill this thing. Let's just get the experience, should, shall we? Beautiful. One hit KO. That is nice. And Kakarot's gonna get to level 16, which is beautiful. Let's battle this guy. Did you come to explore too? No, I came to get through, get the Cerulean, battle Misty, get my second gym badge, and continue my Pokemon quest. He's gonna send out a Spearow. All right, level 10. We're gonna send out Kakarot. And let's use a Vice Grip. Let's see how much damage that does. Wow. A good amount. A very good amount. That is awesome. All right, so down goes Spearow. <laughs> that is great. For some reason, I thought that uh, Vice Grip was going to be a multi multiple like attacking move, like kind of like Wrap or Clamp, but it's not. It's one move, and that's a sick... <clears throat> excuse me, sick animation to boot. Peck, you're going to do nothing to Kakarot. Let's use a Scratch to finish things off, and down goes the Spiro. All right, next up is a Zubat. Bring it on, bruh. And I want Kakarot to probably be around level 20 by the time we take on Misty. Uh, I can't remember exactly what Misty's ace level is at. Maybe it's level like 22. That could be way too high, and I'm just overestimating here. Uh, but I think it's around that. I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments below if you guys know. That rhymed. Hell yeah, it did. All right, so we defeat this kid. Okay, there is an item at the top here, but there is a hiker. Yes, my memory serves me well. Paralyze heal, all right. Uh, let's battle this dude. And let's put Wanda in front. No, you know what? Frank. I want Frank in front. Let's do that. And let's battle this guy. Whoa, you shocked me. Oh, you're just a kid. I'm just a kid? I'm just a kid? I'll show you what a kid can do, bro. These guys always reminded me of, like, hockey players for some reason. I don't know why, but he's going to send out a Krabby. A hiker with a Krabby. Now, that's something you don't see every day, folks. Uh, let's speed through this, and let's just use Rap. Whenever I use Rap, I'm most likely going to speed through because it just takes forever. It will all be worth it once Frank is a Dragonite. Oh, and I just realized uh, we don't need to catch a Flying type because Dragonite will, have, will be able to learn Fly, right? Uh, let me know in the comments below. If Dragonite can learn fly, I'm pretty sure he can. And wow, Pikachu's defenses are garbage. That rap just demolished Pikachu. And we haven't been paralyzed yet. Let's continue our attack. And Frank putting in work right now. Let's go, Frank. Let's go, Frank. Take down this seal. Take down this seal. I love you, Frank. I love you, Frank. Frank is going to be a beast. And yeah, I'm pretty sure that, that Dragonite can learn fly. I'm about 99% about sure. But I could be wrong. I could be wrong indeed. All right, so we're almost at the end of Mount Moon. Couple more Team Rocket grunts to fight. Little kids should leave grown-ups alone. Bruh, please. Enough of this little kid grown-up bullshit. I'm a better Pokemon trainer than all of you guys put together. He's gonna send out a Magnemite at level six. Wow, level 16. Quite the high level. Uh, I'm gonna switch out. I'm gonna go over to, I'm gonna go over to Wanda for this. I think a couple body slams should be able to take down this Magnemite with no problem. Tackle, really? Really? Let's go for the body slam. Let's see how much damage that does. Yo, Wanda is a freaking machine. Wanda is a machine. A machine. I I'm at a loss for words. Wanda, you are a beast. You are a beast. Okay. Let's move along here. Let's move along here. I want to get out of this cave already. Wild encounter. Look at that! Dodrio! Now that is cool. Look at that sprite! The sp I almost forgot how... You can't escape. I almost forgot how amazing the sprites in Gen 1, Gen 1 were. Uh, please escape. Thank God. That, that could have been bad. Another wild encounter! Alright, so we're gonna keep running into these Dodrios. No, 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 no! Oh, no! R.I.P. Frank. R.I.P. Uh, let's put Juan in the front. Damn, that sucked. That sucked indeed. Wild Encounter, don't be another Dodrio. Ekans, all right. There are a ton, a ton of wild Pokemon in here. I don't know why I just yelled, but I did. Let's run. <laughs> all right. Let's see what we have up here. Team Rocket Grunt, but first a wild battle. Uh, Magikarp at level 11. <clears throat> we were running into Wild Gyarados uh, in the last episode, I believe it was, and now we're running into Wild Magikarps. 
Look at that. Team Rocket will find the fossils, revive and sell them for cash. You had a very unique voice, my friend. You had a very unique voice indeed. All right. Artist wants to fight. He's going to send out a Pidgey. We're going to send out Wanda. And a Body Slam will most definitely one-hit KO this thing. There is no doubt in my mind. Wanda puts in too much work. Wanda needs to take a couple days off. That's what she needs to do. And that's what we're going to do for her. We're going to give her the weekend off. So let's put Wanda out of this battle. And let's bring in... All right. I wanted to bring in Stan, but we're going to bring in Kakarot instead. All right, Kakarot. And Kakarot evolves, like, really, really late in the game. Like, I think in his 40s. So we will have a Kabuto <clears throat> for a good deal of time. For a great deal of time, actually. But that's okay, because Kabuto is a beast. And a three-hit KO, really? Really? All right. Hashtag, really? Down goes the Ratata. Okay, and we defeat the artist. I find it funny how all these Team Rocket grunts are artists. Hashtag voice crack, all right. And one more battle, and then we get to pick a fossil. But we already have both of these fossil Pokemon, so... Hey, stop! I found these fossils! They're both mine! Well, you know what? You're gonna give me one after I beat you. After I beat you indeed. All right, next up, Strongman wants to fight. He's gonna send out a Geodude. Who do we have in front? Wanda. Not the best matchup. Let's see if we can get in a, a special type attacking move. Haze. Does that hurt, Geodude? No. Defense curl. Okay, come on. Give me give me a water gun. Slam gonna do nothing. Actually, does a good amount. Uh, what am I doing? Let me just switch out and go over to house. Let me do that. Now, the more I'm thinking about it, the more I might not use house. I, I was, like, so hyped for it at the beginning of the episode. I don't know what why my mind changes. I'm just weighing my options here. Like, House will be an amazing Pokemon. I know that. But I really don't want two Pokemon on my team with the water typing. I don't know. I gotta I got figure this out. Next up is a Pidgeot. I'm gonna stay in. See how much damage this water gun can do. Quick attack. That should do a good amount. But House is a defensive wall. House don't give a shit. House does not give a damn. All right. So we should be able to kill this thing. And for some reason, that turn, we outsped this Pidgeotto. It's a crit. That's beautiful. Sand attack. Hopefully, we can learn. Hopefully, we can learn. Hopefully, we can land a water gun. But we miss. And a gust will do a good amount of damage. And beautiful. We land the water gun. And down goes the Pidgeotto. And House is about to make a sweep. House gets to level 10. And these headphones are hurting my ears. Next up is an Abra. Gonna switch out. Abra has no defense. Let's go over to Stan. That was my imitation of the Abra cry. <laughs> All right, Stan, please do what you gotta do. Abra's gonna teleport, so I'm gonna speed through this. And we're gonna kill the Abra. No problems at all there. And down goes the Abra, and Stan's gonna get a ton of experience. Just kidding, not that much, but he still gets a good amount. All right. Well, we'll each take one. No being greedy. All right, so... Doesn't really matter what I take, because I already have both of these Pokemon, so I'm going to grab the Helix Fossil. And all right, then, this is mine. He's going to get the Dome Fossil. Okay, so that wraps up Mount Moon. I think there's one more ladder, and we're out of here. That, I stand corrected. Two more ladders? All right, beautiful. And here we are in Route 4. And to the east is Cerulean City. Now, I think we can get a couple of TMs. Uh, do we get the TM for Mega Punch over here? So it will be randomized. Unless we don't get a TM at all, maybe I stand corrected. Uh, that should be it up there, actually. Is there a TM up here? Yes, there is. TM25. All right, come on. Give me something good for Dratini. Please. Please. Pin Missile? It's a bug attack move, right? That's a bug attack. I'm pretty sure. Oh, I don't want a freaking Pin Missile. Do 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 do. Uh, can I get over there? I'll uh, figure that out once I get to Cerulean. All right, so let me hop down here. Okay. Let's just see what wild encounters we can run into before the episode's over. Horsey! I don't want a horsey! Just the wild encounters is just so fun. Marowak, that's badass! I'm in no need for a ground type right now. I want like a kick-ass... I would love a Charizard right now. Wild Char- or even the Charmander or a Charmeleon so I can train it up. That would be just- that would be kick-ass. Polyrath! I do not want any more water types! 
Let's see what else we can find here. Another horsey. All right, so I'll do three more wild encounters, and then we will make our way magnet magneton. All right, that's pretty cool. Uh, another polyrath. All right, so one more, and then we'll make our way to Cerulean. Caterpie doesn't count. I'm doing one more. <laughs> I don't want a Caterpie. Oh, I want a freaking Haunter! <laughs> Give me a Haunter! I know I said, like, only, like, one more five times again. Five times. I'm gonna stop talking. I don't even know what I was trying to say there. I know I said I was gonna make my way to Cerulean after that couple of last, uh, encounters, but I'm, I'm tempted to keep... I'm tempted! I can't talk right now! I'm tempted to find something good in this patch of grass. I really am. Uh, come on. Alright, this is the last one. I promise. I promise. I promise. Give me something good. Give me something good. An Oddish. No. No, no, no. I don't want an Oddish. I said that was the last one. I was trying to get out. I ran into this one. So, alright, a horsey. I don't want a horsey eater. Alright, I need to go heal up at the Pokemon Center. <laughs> That's what I need to do. I need to stop lollygagging. Lollygagging? Is that a proper word? I guess it is. And look at that! Cerulean City! And I love, I love the music in Cerulean City. So, let's come into the Pokemon Center and heal up. Nurse Joy, how we doing? Alright, guys. So, that wraps up episode, was it episode 5? In the next episode, we will take on the Nugget Bridge. We're gonna battle our rival, and then we might take on Misty in that episode as well. So, guys, as always, love and respect goes out to everybody. Don't forget to comment, to rate, and to subscribe. This is Original 151, and I will see you guys next time.